about rape and my personal experience of the trauma but for now it's still at the stage of me dealing with the silence of it the, the level like the trauma and how it actually just we found like recreated itself through silence and that like also just made photography become of a more of a bigger voice for me which is interesting So my interest in, in photography, it grew actually when I was still doing IC because uh, in IC we do bodies of work, so personal projects that we have to develop over like three months, so it's two of them. So and then I found like a great interest in that, so and then I ended up choosing APP. I feel like with, with social, with my thinking about social issues, I think it came I think it became more clearer when when I got here, when I got to the market, because I at first I didn't know what I was doing, but I think it pushed it more like with seeing certain work also that was produced at the markets, like especially Zanele Moholi's work, which speaks about uh, gender politics and all of that, and even um, Lebo uh, Khanye, and I like really referenced a lot of her work in my my projects as well and I feel like that's way more in my part of finding a voice and really like pressing on that voice and using it more. Mm. I took a break in 2018 when I started APP and it wasn't like it I felt like it was very unexpected because a lot of things had started unraveling for me so um, like the background within all of that is that in 2017 I got raped and I didn't speak up about it and I only started only to speak about it through images and that like woke up a whole a whole nother thing of like emotional turmoil that I don't I didn't think I was ready to deal with at the time so like it just <laughs> I kind of ran like that was my main thing I ran from everything So I had a black and a black and white charts that I was using a lot, which it was more like the gap. Like I'm gonna use this color association thing. So it's more like the good, the good and the bad. The more like the good being the innocent, and the fact that the bad isn't really it's not really bad, but it's more the becoming after all of this and choosing. It's kind of like me having to choose a side now like after being raped and like do i become also an abuser or do i still remain this soft innocent person or do i just fuse the two but not be too rough about any one particularly and then there's another a white dress that i was using so that one was more, I feel like that one deserves its own story because it's more on my experience when 
I went to a rape clinic. So with how the doctors treated me and the nurses and like it's just it was just so crazy and sad how doctors particularly the doctor that I had treated me as a rape survivor and he was like it was immediately after the rape and then he he was just I don't know, he was just rude and rough in his own way as well, which is uncomfortable. So I speak about that as well, but I feel like it's also that's why I feel like my body of work does go in stages, so it's different experiences on the whole speaking up and being silent as well. Working with this uh, project was very hard. Like, at some point, I even thought it would get easier. Like there were points where I'd present in class and it'd be okay, and then there were points where I'd look at the work and it's still the same, but I just like start crying, and it would catch me at random times. And even when I was photographing it photographing it by myself and just that whole isolation and there were moments where I'd like catch myself and be like actually this is every like certain memories would always come up but I feel like that also was very helpful because there were things that I blocked in my head so by pushing on with this project with this project it actually made them come up more which helps a lot uh, now that the work is actually out <laughs> whew, it's scary I don't think I actually have prepared for it, but it feels like I'm, I'm ready because when I first found out that the, like, when Biggie first approached me and his interest in the project and that he wants to engage, like, it with the public, it was a shock <laughs> and I went home and cried. Because uh, I, was, I, was, I was scared because of the people who I feel were involved in the rape and the fact that now the work is going to go out there and somewhere somehow somebody might see it or they might see it and then it will lead to some other things but then i thought i mean i've been hiding for too long like there were times when i had to stay at home i didn't go out because i was too afraid of those people and now it's like it's okay i feel like i'm at that i'm at that point now where i just want to be I'm strong, I'm strong enough to stand for it. For other survivors as well, so, you know, like it's more of a, you are not alone. Uh, but also it's for like, cause there are some of my images where like I play around using the body a lot, but those ones are directly to like, for the male gaze. So it's more directly to them and just being like upfront and just having them to face this and realize that this thing is a problem and it's actually happening in front of them, yeah.